Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Veronica. I hope that you guys are having a great, great day. I'm just actually um, wanting to do a video for you guys of the weekend on how it went. I have little clips here and there, but I figured I would just come on here and kind of like talk to you guys about it because I couldn't do a full on vlog. I'm still having issues with my phone on doing bigger films for some reason. It's just not working. I've tried um, turning my phone off, restarting applications, all that is just not working. So <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to keep doing little small vlogs until then, um, until I get this fixed or until I get a new phone or more storage on my phone. But I hope that you guys are doing amazing. Um, we had a pretty good weekend. We had some of our friends over on Friday and... Um, we had them come over i think it was yeah it was friday the, the kids came over played on the trampoline with emma emma was so excited to have kids on that trampoline by the way she was super happy she was playing non-stop she kept following the kids around here in the house so it was super cute that's what we ended up doing this weekend um on friday and then on saturday i actually had to go buy some sunglasses because i'm having extremely bad allergies i can't even do my makeup because i'm just like literally scratching my eyes off like they're so bad so since we went to go do that i actually decluttered emma's room this week i was doing so much decluttering this week i still have a lot of a lot more of decluttering to do but i decluttered her clothes because she had so many with like stains or paints from like school or from here and then some that just did not fit her anymore and now it's starting to get extremely hot over here so I was pretty much getting rid of like her sweaters that are not going to fit her anymore and um, her long sleeve shirts that are not going to fit her anymore. And then I was going through her clothes that there are short sleeves and shorts and stuff like that. And most of them did not fit. So while I was out shopping for my sunglasses, I decided to go to Old Navy and get Emma some stuff. So I ended up getting her some items from Old Navy. And then we, from there... We went to Walmart and I also ended up getting her some items from Walmart. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll the clips of that now. So these are the items that I ended up finding for Emma at Old Navy. This cute little frozen shirt that she loved, by the way. This true to your, be true to yourself, share kindness shirt that I had was only, I think, a dollar. So I was trying to buy the cheapest stuff that they have but that's going to be good for her for the summer this cute little barbie shirt and i got her two little like dress things this is a dress that was on sale for eight dollars which was super cute she actually already wore it and um this little romper that i bought as well that was also on sale for like seven to eight dollars i can't remember but yeah really cute I really loved how the sundress looked on her. And this one's really cute because it has like little side pockets and it's just adorable. I know she's going to like it. I don't know about you guys, but I think that Walmart has really stepped it up with their clothes lately. Yes, it is a little bit more expensive, but they have some really, really cute things. And I just love the colors of the clothing that they have. And these is the ones that I got from Walmart. I thought that this would be so cute to go with these little shorts from Walmart. These, this brand that they have on Walmart is so cute. All of their items are like pastel colors, very light, very pretty. They're just very comfortable. So I figured that this would go with this and it could also go with this little shirt that's from the same brand. So I ended up getting this for basically these shorts can fit both of them or anything with this one as well, to be honest. But I thought this was so cute because it's like a little spaghetti strapped, really cute. And then at TJ Maxx, actually, yeah, TJ Maxx, I ended up getting um, a little Nike hat because now that it's getting so bright outside, she has problems when it's so bright. She closes her eyes a lot, so I put her in sunglasses all the time and hats, especially when we go to the pool. Um, we like to put her in hats because it's so bright outside in the pool at the gym. So I ended up picking this one up and I think it was like only $7.99, so eight bucks. Yeah. And then I ended up making her a couple of shirts also with my um 
with the regular shirts that I got at TJ, no, <laughs> Michael's. Wow, I can't even talk. Yeah, that was basically our Saturday. We do, we were just doing that and um, also around the house. Anthony's been gardening. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but he's been gardening. We have like a little garden going on in the back and he was doing that all weekend. We were outside with Emma all weekend. She, she has been nonstop wanting to be outside. It cracks me up because sometimes I have the TV running in the back and I get comments like, she shouldn't be watching TV, but this kid does not watch TV like at all anymore. <laughs> she does not sit down to watch TV. It's literally background noise because she likes the music in the background and she's moving around. She doesn't watch TV all day at all. And I get some, some of the comments like that and I'm just like, if you only knew. She watches zero TV. I can't entertain this kid with TV. Even if we're out and about and I give her my phone so she can listen to something, she does not watch it. She just listens to the music because she loves music. But let me show you guys the, uh, the little backyard because we moved Emma's little house. Remember we have the house. Sorry, I'm doing laundry right now, so I have a mess. We moved that out here. So now she has her little house here, her swing, and we pat it, pat it the swing because she keeps getting bruises from letting go of the swing and hitting back to her. And we put like even patting right here so she does not, you know, fall on there. And we move it around depending on where she's using the swing. We have her little sand thing here. We have that. And let me show you guys the stuff that's going on here. We're still gonna plant things, but we have like a little grape, doing grapes. We're doing broccoli, which by the way, this is like, we don't know if it's going to survive because we keep getting critters. And then we have strawberries right there. I don't know if you see it. So we have strawberries there. We have strawberries here. And then we have tomatoes, which some of them are coming out now. I don't know why Anthony planted watermelon. <laughs> but we have watermelon growing. It's hilarious. I don't think watermelon's gonna fit there, but whatever. We'll see how it works, but I'm super excited about the strawberries, to be honest. They look like they're coming along. But yeah, so Emma has not been wanting to be inside at all, and it's so hot. It is so hot outside, but that's all she wants to do is go to the pool at the gym or be outside. Like, we're literally outside from the moment she gets back from school until like 7 p.m. She's out there. She does not want to come in. She's in her swing. She's listening to music. She's in her little house. She's just like playing nonstop. If we come in for a moment, she just comes in to get food, comes back out, and <laughs> keeps playing outside. It's hilarious. Um, but it's also like too much for me because I have horrible allergies and I'm literally dying all day long because I'm out there. My eyes are insanely hurting <laughs> all day long. But it cracks me up. I'm like, okay, fine. We will be outside again, again. But I am so hot, so hot from being out there. Um, We want to get her a little pool because remember we had a little pool last year, but it popped and I can't, you know, we just threw it away. It was just too much. It had too many holes. So we want to get her like a tiny little pool so she can play out there when she's outside and we could actually keep cool and I could actually just sit in the pool while she's playing because it's just way too hot outside and I can only imagine when summer hits it's going to be even more. So I'm like we definitely need to invest in a pool. But this is Emma's last last week of school. I did sign her up for summer school. I'm also waiting for the confirmation for swimming school and I want to sign her up for music class or martial arts. We're in the process of both right now to see which one comes through faster. Um, and I am on hold for speech therapy because I'm going to be doing speech therapy outside of school also. So it's going to be a busy, busy summer. But hopefully I can get the speech therapist soon because that would be amazing. She's doing so good vocalizing, um, saying more words, and um, as you can tell, like reading and stuff like that. So I feel like if we had speech therapy outside of school, she already has speech therapy in school, but if we had it extra outside of school, it would help her a lot. So that's what we're looking into doing right now. But 
I hope that you guys are doing good. How was your weekend? How are your kids doing? Are they signing up for school, for summer school? Or you guys are keeping them out for summer school and just doing activities? Leave me a comment down below and we'll see you guys next time on our next video. Bye.